why where clause is written before group by and having clause is written after group by hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the sql 50 crack sql interview and 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on sql using 50 carefully created questions covering diverse aspects of sql so we have already done with the select basic joins as well as basic aggregate functions we are currently working with the sorting and grouping part then we'll be working on advanced select and join sub queries and finally moving to advanced string functions regex and clauses in this video we are going to solve this question called classes more than five students and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 26th video of this series called classes more than five students and let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called courses with two different columns student and class and both of them have the data type variable characters the combined column student and class is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values for this table each row of this table indicates the name of a student and the class in which they are enrolled we are asked to write a solution to find all the classes that have at least five students. Order of the result does not matter. Let's go through this example and see what do we need to get in our output. So here we have several students and various classes they are enrolled into and we need to find all the classes that have at least five students enrolled in it. So if we look at math, so math has one, two, three, four, five and six. So six different students are enrolled in math. So math should be definitely in our output. English only has one biology only has one computer only has one so the only thing that we need in our output is math and that is what we have to do this question the first thing that we should do is from this table called courses we should group by the classes and count the number of students that are enrolled in each of these classes so if i drew from this table called courses if i group by the class right and then if i return so if i go ahead and do return the class and let me count the number of students so if i count the number of student and let me alias this as number of students and let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we have in our output okay if i look at it so for every class we have the number of students and obviously we only need to keep those where number of students is at least five okay so this is a case where we need to filter based on an aggregate after performing a group by we need to keep only those rows where our number of students is greater than equal to five okay in that case using where won't work why because for example if i go ahead and let's say our question was simply find out all the students who are enrolled in let's say class math so here row by row you need to find that wherever your class is equal to math you return the student but here it is not asking that it is asking the class which has at least five students enrolled so from this table called courses group by the class and then only keep those classes where the aggregate where the count of the student is greater than or equal to five so in that cases we need to use having so having count of student greater than equal to five after performing the group by it will say okay the count of student is greater than or equal to five for only math and then you return the class math and if i run this let's see what do we get in our output so now this is accepted also this will also tell you why where clause is written before group by and having clause is written after group by because if you think about it when i said find me all the students who belongs to class math we had to do from this table called courses where class is equal to math return the student that is why we are performing the filtering using where before grouping by but having is used to filter after you perform the groups so that is the reason why where clause comes before group by and having clause comes after group by always let us go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it not a very difficult question but it clears our concept of when to use where clause and when to use having clause and what is the difference between them and why where comes before group by and having comes after group by so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video